Hi everybody, this is Brittany from Teach Me ABA, and on this video we're going to be discussing our next topic, which is A-5 from the BCBA task list. Let's get into it! Now, within this video we're going to be talking about the dimensions of applied behavior analysis. So within applied behavioral analysis, there are seven dimensions that serve the purpose of providing clinicians with the criteria for guiding the application of ABA treatments and interventions. So first, let's go ahead and discuss what it means for a treatment to be analytic. This occurs when the treatment shows that there is a relationship between the controlled stimuli, i.e. the independent variable or the treatment, and a change in the targeted behavior, which is known as our dependent variable. For example, let's say that we're targeting our client, Timmy, and Timmy throws items in order to get his mom's attention. So the behavior that we're looking at is throwing items, and the intervention is implementing an augmentative device so that Timmy can gain his mom's attention appropriately. Now, we'll have a functional relationship, or we'll obviously see that the treatment is analytic because we're gonna see that Timmy's behavior of throwing things goes down as soon as we give him the augmentative device and he learns to use it so that he can appropriately get his mom's attention. Up next is technological. This means that clinicians are essentially writing their procedures with as much detail and clarity as possible. This enables it to be possible for any clinician providing ABA treatment to recreate and replicate that intervention. Up next is conceptually systematic. Now this is the application of a treatment. Its procedures for changing behavior should always stem from the principles, those basic principles that we discussed in previous videos of ABA. This way, we're showing that the communities that we serve, that we're not just another bag of tricks. For example, let's say that we have parents that wish to apply a non-evidence-based treatment to their loved one's intervention. During this discussion, the clinician would most likely respectfully decline any use of such a treatment, only because it stems and falls outside of the realms of ABA principles. Now, within ABA, we have to show why a treatment intervention is effective. That's the next dimension. Meaning that the targeted behavior has improved enough to be socially important. Our clients deserve the best treatment and the best results to improve their lives, not based on how much money a company can make servicing them, for example. Lastly, we're told that a behavior shows generality if it lasts over time. That's the next dimension meaning that a behavior continues long after the individual's treatment has ended. So this means that it happens across settings and it happens across people. So let's say we have Timmy in the previous example and he uses that augmentative device to gain the attention of others in school or even of other individuals like his teacher. Now, I really hope all this information was very helpful. Again, this was A-5. So if you wanted to get a little bit better understanding, I would suggest watching the previous videos so that you can catch up with us. Good luck studying out there. Please have any comments or questions listed below. Like, share, or even follow us here at Teach Me ABA. I'm Brittany and have a great day.